Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming Floor. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to detail diners. So, I'm mostly going to be focusing on how to detail this diner, but I will uh, detail parts of these other ones because this one is uh, generally a little more unique than these other two. But um, that's what I'm going to be covering today. So, uh, if this is what you're looking for, uh, you're in the right place. So, let's start off with some of the items I have. Um, most of the common items you're going to be needing are these ones over here. Let's actually get into objects so we can see what they're called. Um, we have uh, counters, all four of the counter pieces. We've got oven number one, both of the fridges, shelf number three, dishwasher number one, cooler number one, register, uh, clock is optional, but you know, it's another decoration thing. And then over here we've got some of the uh, seating area options. These are sort of optional, it depends on the place that you uh, decorate. These places are going to be more likely to use the tables and the chairs and stuff. And this one over here has a specially uh, designed booth set for it. So besides those, we also have this coat, number one, and wardrobe, number one, and number two. And those are mostly just for this awkward little area right here that I will be decorating first. So as we get into this diner over here, the classic diner, um, you go into this walkway, this this first walkway here, and I'm really not sure why this is a part of the building, because it's really awkward and it's hard to decorate, but um, some options for you to decorate this could be place coat number one here, and you could also place a wardrobe in here. Now this is very similar to how you would decorate a house. So if this bothers you or anything like that, obviously you don't have to do this. But this is just uh, one or two ideas. Obviously, there will be other things that you can put in here. Maybe like um, a poster. You, know, you could put other things like that in here as well. Some decoration items. But this will just give you you know, a sort of homish feel to your diner. So that's optional, of course. So let's move into some of the cooking areas and the meal prep. Th those are going to be using uh, these items here. And these will be pretty similar uh, no matter what diner you're actually using. So fast food and pizza place are going to be very similar to this diner over here. I'm just going to decorate this one just so that we can have one that's completely decorated by the end of this video. So uh, pretty much first step to do is pick what type of counters you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it just depends on your preference. It's not really going to change anything. So the second thing I usually like to do is decide where I like the sink to be. Now obviously you may have to roughly change this. Um, I'm going to use the control B and control N to arrange these quite nicely. Of course I'm going to have to rotate it myself. And then I'll use snap transform to get those almost perfect, or well perfectly actually. And then pretty much once you decide where you've got your sink area, just sort of uh, pull out the counters to until you have you know enough counter space for your liking. Uh, next I'm going to focus on the oven and the dishwasher because those two are actually pretty much identical in size. I'm going to put those two right about here. And of course guys, however you want to lay out your kitchen is up to you. I mean there's so many different ways of doing this. Mine is not necessarily going to be the best way. It's definitely not the only way. So you know, be creative do what you think feels right. So I am going to leave this little gap right here uh, next to the door. There's really no reason for that, just that there just happened to be some extra space. I'm also going to leave a little bit of extra room between the oven and the counters, just because it does set them apart a little bit. And, you know, I might just uh, put a similar amount of space between the oven and the dishwasher. And, you know, that'll just sort of set those apart as well, which kind of makes sense, because do you ever want to abut your oven and the dishwasher? I don't think that really happens in real life, but it really doesn't matter, because, you know, people are just going to be looking inside these really quickly as they go by, and that's all they're going to think about. So the next step is to choose a fridge type, uh, fridge number one or number two. I'm going to go with number two right now. It doesn't really matter. They, they work exactly the same. They just look different. And I'm just going to put, I think I'll probably do a double fridge for this kitchen. There's enough room here that that is not going to be a problem. And I'll try to center these a little bit. They're pretty much almost all the way centered already. But, yep, that'll look fine for me. Um, 
you know you really don't have to put that much detail in with these fridges either they're just there to pretty much fill up the space now that's about it for the kitchen area there are some other options though you do have this uh, cooler number one you could use this instead of a fridge or in addition to the fridge um, there's also this shelf number three which works well as sort of a pantry like object uh, you could just fit it in wherever really and you could use that as well I just haven't I just decided not to use those in this case so now let's put the register down the nice thing about this um, diner is that it has a spot already for the register so we're not going to need the checkout item that you do sometimes use um, I'm also going to put maybe two of these because it is a decently large restaurant so you know you might think you know they may need more than one checkout just to speed up how fast you can get customers through and I did sort of try to um, make these exactly in the center of this countertop but that is not possible because it is too thin so guys sometimes you can't do that and you know if that bothers you use another diner because there's nothing you can really do about it I'm also going to spread these out uh, about where I feel is right enough room for two cashiers I guess and that's pretty much all you need for that uh, register area the only other thing we need to consider is that we need to keep this area clear so that you know it makes sense that people or customers can walk up to it and use it so the last part to decorating a diner is deciding how you want the customers to sit down or where you want them to sit and stuff like that and so thankfully with this diner if you use it you should probably use the booth set so booth number one and booth number two otherwise with these other ones you're probably going to want to use some sort of table uh, table wood number one is always good table wood number two is good and table metal is also good and you'll be using chairs with those as well so let's get into uh, arranging some of these booths inside the diner now the first thing to notice about this is that there's this awkward area over here um, I've seen a couple ways to decorate this or detail it. So one of the first ways that I think is maybe one of the better ones is you pretty much just put one booth uh, directly pretty much in the middle. Um, something you might be able to do to help center it is just back up a little bit and compare the edges. It obviously doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody playing your map is going to be looking in that detail to see if you got this perfectly centered. But this is definitely a good option for putting a booth back here. The other option for this is putting the booth like this or something like this. You could also snug it up to the wall. The only problem with this is that it does sort of uh, leave this weird gap here. So out of the two that's probably the least preferred at least in my taste. So I'm just going to leave it with this one. Now to continue this uh, we're just going to copy paste and what you can do with the rest of the space is you could just copy paste and put a whole large line down there um, you can either have it so that the back of the rests of the chairs are sort of in each other or you could make it double wide you could do that as well the only problem with doing this is it does cut off some uh, flow of traffic right here so it will be kind of hard to get around this counter so this isn't actually the preferred way that I would do this a possibly better way that you could do this is rotating these and snug these up all the way to the wall and sort of just maybe just leave this as an open space here or you could even just snug these all the way up to the window there's a couple options for this and then from here a, an easy way to do it is just copy paste these along the window line and you know it ends up looking pretty well of course these booths are not going to be completely lined up with the window they're not the same width so we will be off a little bit but nobody's really gonna care it just fills the space really well so this is off definitely a good option as well something you could also do with this I just thought of it is you could snug that up against the back wall and let's see went up a little too high copy and paste it and make like a little section over here on its own and it'd be very similar to this over here because you just copied and pasted it and dragged it over and this would allow enough room for the tables to get served and enough room for the player to walk through over here so this probably actually is the best uh, configuration of course guys be creative make your own configurations it doesn't matter that much people are not really gonna care that much how you decorate this it's just whatever you guys want to do as long as you have some sort of seating area it's gonna be fine so now moving into using this booth number two object um, pretty much the whole thought behind this is just make a sort of little bar counter area 
Uh, you can space these apart however far as you want, whatever you feel is right. Obviously, you probably don't want to pack them in too tight. You want to have enough room for customers to seat comfortably. But, I mean, something like that would definitely work. Um, oh, those are a little far apart. So I'll move those in one. And I will delete this one off the end because it's getting a little too close to this register. You could also just move this register over a little bit. And there you go. You've got this uh, nicely laid out booth area. Um, you've got a nice waiting area right here. You could put something that I just thought of. You could put it like a table, wood number three. I think it's the small table. Yeah, you could put something like that right here. You know, maybe put a couple newspapers on it, sort of as like a waiting area. You could also put some chairs in this area over here. So, you know, have some waiting chairs, or sort of like, you know, place to wait as you're being seated. You could do all sorts of stuff like this. So, you know, it really just depends on what you want your uh, restaurant to feel like. So that's pretty much it for this uh, diner. Um, let's move on to decorating some of the sitting areas for these other diners. Mainly, let's uh, do this pizza one. This is going to be the most casual of them all because it's sort of like... So there's a huge kitchen back here. And pretty much what happens is it doesn't leave very much room for actually sitting and eating. So this sort of diner feels kind of like a takeout, which means you don't need that much sitting area. Obviously, this one, it's a sit-in diner. You sit down, you have the food served to you, and you know it's made in-house, and you eat it all here, and then you leave. This one, it's more of you order the pizza beforehand, and you come and pick it up. So a good option for this one is you can put the cooler here as sort of like an extra drink you could buy. Um, as you're waiting for your pizza to be made. Um, besides this, uh, you're still left with a lot of awkward areas. So you could put some sort of couch down uh, for a lounge area. Um, also, you could put you could you could actually put a table down. Uh, there's not much room for it, but you know that's definitely an option. You could put a small table. Uh, you could put chairs, newspaper, chests there, something for the customers to play while they wait and you know just sort of fill up the area with those sort of things you could also put uh, let's see let's copy paste that you get a few more around here it's obviously going to be a little cramped because there isn't that much room you could also put uh, vendors here uh, like the coke machines uh, let's say vendor yeah they are named vendor so in place of the coolers you could also put the vendors that would also be definitely acceptable also obviously you want to have a register back here and a decent sized cooking area you could also fill some of that area with shelves back there if you're having trouble figuring out what to do let's put a couch in there just as a proof of concept let's see we're probably going to have to remove these coolers here to fit one in but we could definitely put a couch here uh, we could have it even angled a little bit and we could put, you know, a second couch here even if we wanted to. Couch number two. That's a little smaller just to fit that area. So pretty much, guys, this is just going to be, you know, another layout for, you know, how you could possibly decorate this area. This is obviously a different style of diner, so you're going to decorate it differently. But there's some ideas of how you can do that. Uh, let's move on to the fast food place, which is obviously going to be more of a sit-in place as well because there's a lot more area to eat in. It also has a large kitchen and a drive through window. Um, the really only thing I have to suggest for the drive through window is that, uh, one, you can leave it blank. Uh, many people, many map builders do leave it blank. Two, you could put maybe a chair there for the person that's tending the window to sit down in. That's pretty much all I got for this drive through window. A lot of people just ignore it and sort of act as if it's a normal window, but you can obviously do some special things there to make people recognize that it is actually a drive through window. So as for the layout of these uh, tables, I really don't have any good suggestions besides just fill the space, do it however you want. Uh, I would suggest creating some sort of rows with enough room in between them that you know you can fit some chairs maybe something like that and then you know copy paste make sure you leave enough room between so you can fit you know two sections of chairs and then pretty much just fill them in so let's use this chair type just because it's the only one left out here and let's just you know 
copy paste some chairs around and we've got an eating area so you know it's pretty simple um, a lot of this is intuitive you just sort of do it and you know mess with it till you're satisfied with the results so that's pretty much the whole idea behind this and yeah that's pretty much it those are the three types of diners and hopefully this will give you enough idea to finish decorating them uh, something I forgot to mention is there's a clock here it is always a good idea maybe to spruce up the walls by placing one down they're obviously not mandatory uh, they're pretty much just extra decoration but don't forget that you can place these type of things also there's poster uh, and you can place those on the walls as well as sort of extra decoration if you feel like the space needs it. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this Unturned Map Editor tutorial. Please like the video if you guys enjoyed it or learned something. Please subscribe if you want to see some more. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later.